Hi, second grade, Ms. Freibogel here. Today you will need a pencil and a notebook or a piece of paper for our lesson. We are gonna be looking at problem and solution. Remember, when we talk about plot, that means what happens in a story. So in the plot, there is usually a problem. So something that characters want to do, what they want to change, or what they need to find out. There is also a solution in the plot or how the problem is solved. So if we have the problem of some spilled milk, we could have the solution of paper towels being used. So to find the problem in the solution, we will look at what the characters want to do. So is there something they're trying to do? And we would think about that. We would look at the steps characters take to solve the problem. So once they have something they want to do, maybe they spill the milk. So what are they doing to solve that problem, right? Are they going to the store to get paper towels? Are they asking their mom and dad for help? Those are the steps the characters take to solve it. And at the end of the story, ask if the character solved the problem. So if our characters spilled the milk as the problem, took some steps, maybe they went into the laundry room or went into the basement to get some paper towels, and they cleaned up the milk, then the problem was solved. Let's take a look at an example and work through some problem and solution. Our text today is called The Recycling Contest. While I read, you may read out loud or in your head. Please use your finger to track if you need to. Recycling contest. Ms. Hines was the principal at Grover School. Each day, she saw that students threw away sheets and sheets of paper. She called a meeting to talk about recycling. Ms. Hines explained why recycling is important. She ended her speech this way. Let's save the earth. If we all pitch in, we can make a difference. The students cheered and went back to their rooms. The next few days, Ms. Hines watched the students. They were not recycling. Ms. Hines decided to try another plan. Grover School is having a contest, she told the students. The class that recycles the most paper in one week will win a prize. The contest begins tomorrow. Our class can win, said Eric. He was in second grade. His teacher, Mrs. Park, said, let's try our best. Ms. Hines gave each class a recycling bin. She made a big wall chart. Each time a class filled a bin with paper, they emptied it into the giant container. Ms. Hines kept track of the paper on her chart. Eric reminded all of his classmates to recycle. If he saw someone throwing away some paper, Eric called, put that in the paper bin. He never forgot to recycle. At the end of the week, Ms. Hines called another meeting. She held up the recycling chart. Eric's class had won the contest. This is your prize, she said. You get an extra 10 minutes outside at recess for one week. You can enjoy the earth that you are helping to save. Okay, let's think a little bit about problem and solution. We're gonna reread the passage to answer these questions. What is the problem in the passage? Remember, the problem is something that the characters are trying to do or trying to figure out. Hmm. When I reread, I'm going to reread the first three paragraphs. Ms. Hines was the principal at Grover School. Each day, she saw that students threw away sheets and sheets of paper. She called a meeting to talk about recycling. Ms. Hines explained why recycling was important. She ended her speech this way. Let us save the earth. If we all pitch in, we can make a difference. The students cheered and went back to their rooms. The next few days, Ms. Hines watched the students. They were not recycling. Ms. Hines decided to try another plan. So let's think about Ms. Hines and her problem at the beginning of the story. So what did she notice the students are not doing? Notices 
we students are not recycling their paper, right? She notices they're not recycling their paper. Let's think about number two. What is one step that Ms. Hines takes to solve the problem? So what's one thing she does? So she says they are not recycling. Let's keep reading to paragraph four. Grover School is having a contest, she told the students. The class that recycles the most paper in one week will win a prize. The contest begins tomorrow. So one step that she takes is she, Ms. Hines, creates a school contest recycling. Right, that's one thing that she does to help solve the problems, the steps that she takes. So, so far we have our problem. Ms. Hines notices the students are not recycling their paper. And we have a step that Ms. Hines is taking. She's creating a school contest for recycling. I want you to do the last Question on your own, number three. What is the solution to the problem? So remember, our solution is how does, or how do the characters solve the problem? What is the solution? I'll keep reading for you and then have you answer the question. We'll start with week, or excuse me, paragraph five. Our class can win, said Eric. He was in second grade. His teacher, Mrs. Park, said, let's try our best. Ms. Hines gave each class a recycling bin. She made a big wall chart. Each time a class filled a bin with paper, they emptied it into a giant container. Ms. Hines kept track of the paper on her chart. Eric reminded all of his classmates to recycle. If he saw someone throwing away some paper, Eric called, put that paper in the bin. He never forgot to recycle. At the end of the week, Mrs. Hines called another meeting. She held up the recycling chart. Eric's class had won the contest. This is your prize, she said. You get an extra 10 minutes outside at recess for one week. You can enjoy the earth that you are helping to save. Now that I've reread our passage, let's think about the solution to the problem. Our problem is that the students are not recycling paper. Go ahead and write down the solution for the problem. Click play when you're ready to review it. Okay, and our solution to the problem is that Eric encourages his classmates to recycle, right? If we look back up in the story, we see that he reminds all of his classmates to recycle. He never forgot to recycle. And then his class won the contest. So he encouraged all of his classmates to recycle so that they could win the contest. But it also solved Mrs. Hines' problem that the students were not recycling their paper because Eric was encouraging everyone to do so. All right, that's all for me today. I will see you soon.